In today's video we are looking at the most remote and dangerous tribes in the world. Although there are many peaceful ones, there are some that belong only in horror movies, and you definitely don't want to be the one who makes first contact. That being said, here are our top 5 most dangerous uncontacted and isolated tribes. Number 5, The Agori. The Agori are an isolated group of nomadic cannibalistic monks from India, where they practice a bizarre and extreme form of Hinduism. They have been known to inhabit some of the most remote places in India, including caves in the Himalayan mountains, the dense jungles of Bengal, and the hot deserts of the Indian Gujarat. The Agori believe they can attain enlightenment by doing some very dark deeds, such as consuming raw and cooked human flesh, smearing human ashes on their bodies, drinking urine and eating human feces. They have threatened journalists and travelers many times, and will also offer human meat or brain tissue to visitors. The Agori also regularly make cups from the skulls of dead bodies, and drink alcohol from them. They also believe in wearing very little clothing, such as a loincloth, or even nothing at all. Number 4, The Yanomami. The Yanomami are a group of indigenous people who in on the border between Venezuela and Brazil. Today they are at great risk of losing their land due to South American miners' lust for the valuable gold on the Yanomami land. Their forests have been cut down, rivers have been poisoned, and modern diseases have infected their tribe. Needless to say this has not given the Yanomami a good impression of people from the modern world. They have retaliated with deadly violence to anyone invading their land. In addition to outsiders, the Yanomami fiercely battle with neighboring clans in bloody civil war. The loss of resources for mining and deforestation has only made these conflicts worse over time. Number 3, The Azmat. The Azmat are a tribe living in New Guinea, Indonesia in the remote southwestern coast. There's no roads to this extremely remote and dangerous tribe, and only one tiny airstrip. But if you do manage to make it to Azmat land, you will find primitive warriors drenched in blood, carrying the heads of their enemies, eating human flesh, engaging in homosexual acts, and drinking each other's urine. In the 1960s the great-grandson of the prestigious John D. Rockefeller, on the richest people who ever lived, decided to leave the comfortable life of managing his family's vast business empire, and make real contact with the Azmat people. He initially made peaceful contact, however he soon disappeared without a trace. This quickly created a media firestorm, but no one could find definite evidence of what happened to him. It wasn't until almost 50 years later that journalist Carl Hoffman finally uncovered evidence that indeed the Azmat warriors had speared him while he was swimming near their land. According to the report, they took his body back and ate him, and made a trophy from his skull, and turned the rest of his bones into daggers and fishing hooks. This is definitely one tribe that you do not want to mess with. Number 2, The Warani. The Warani are a tribe that live in the Amazonian region of Ecuador, their tribe contains only around 4,000 people. However anthropologists consider this small tribe to be the most violent and have the highest rate of homicide of any indigenous people group ever studied. Their oral traditions make it clear that they had only extremely hostile relations with all outside groups for countless generations. In the 1950s, five American missionaries attempted to make contact, and dropped gifts and photographs from an airplane to show them their good intentions. However the Warani believed the photographs to be the work of evil magic. So when the missionaries landed their plane on a riverbank, the tribesmen surrounded them and killed them all with spears, including the last one who was speared right before radioing in the attack. Reportedly the Warani also drowned their firstborn daughters as a form of population control, and when their elderly members become too old and lose their mobility and usefulness they are either stoned to death or burned alive. Number 1 The Sentinelese In the Bay of Bengal in the Indian Ocean, is perhaps the most isolated tribe in the world. They have made it very well known to the world that they want to keep it that way. 
They meet any visitors with extreme hostility and do not hesitate to kill anyone who attempts to make contact with them. In 1956 the Indian government declared their island a tribal reserve, and made it illegal for anyone to attempt to even enter the water surrounding the island. In 2006 two fishermen attempted to illegally harvest crabs from the northern part of the island, however their anchor failed that night, and their boat drifted directly to the island. The Sentinelese were waiting for them, and they killed them with axes. The natives then put the fishermen's bodies on bamboo stakes and faced them out to sea like scarecrows. In 2018 American missionary John Chow made several attempts to make peaceful contact with the Sentinelese, but each time was met with violence. On his final attempt, he told the fishermen who illegally took him to the island to leave him in the middle of the night. Early the next day the fishermen recorded that they saw the natives dragging a body on the beach to bury it in the sand. Hopefully the Sentinelese will one day join the modern world, but for now it seems impossible. Exploring the world may come at a great cost, but the benefit to future generations will be unlimited. Hopefully these tribes will join our modern and mostly peaceful world, and give up their savage ways. We hope you enjoyed the video today, please let us know how we did in the comments below, and let us know if we missed any of the most dangerous tribes in the world. Please also like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content.